Unique rides officially ended after this happened. In the world of car customization television shows, one of the things that appear to capture the attention and interest of the viewers is the seemingly limitless budget of the customers needing the work. Many of us regular people struggle to find the money just for an oil change, much less thousands upon thousands of dollars to customize our Toyota Prius. One show made an attempt to capitalize on this very thing. 2016 saw the premiere of Unique Rides, the sequel of another show called Unique Whips, which was shown on the Speed Channel from 2005 to 2008. However, after only three seasons on the air, Unique Rides ended. Why the early departure from the air? Welcome back to Tuna No Crust, and today we will be taking a closer look at the hit show Unique Rides and why it was taken off the air. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel, and while you're at it, hit the notification bell. We are coming out with new videos on a regular basis and want to continue having you here. To understand the full premise of this show, it is necessary to go back to the original Unique Whips from 2005. Before the Speed Channel became defunct, it was home to a number of shows such as American Trucker. I've been hunting you for a long time, my friend. R11, my lucky number 11. Dangerous Drives. I just kind of look over and make sure there's no leaks or anything that you see uh, that could happen during the day. Pumped. Red, yellow, black, or white? Yellow. Correct, full tank of gas. You guys are on a roll. Two Guys Garage. A little bit of cleaning on the inside of this baby because got a little bit of a funky moldy smell in this place and you know. Pimp my ride. See my bling bling and rims right here. Nice and dirty. Take a look at this. 20 years of buildup. And car science. Additionally, it would broadcast a number of racing events such as NASCAR Spring Cup Series, AMA Supercross, IndyCar Series, and Monster Jam. It was a very active channel and had quite the lineup of shows and events. Unique Whips was a moderately successful show that lasted for three years on the channel. Similar to many of the other shows, it featured a team of mechanics who would customize vehicles for wealthy customers. However, a different spin was put on it. To bring more notoriety and attention to the show, the customers were movie stars, musicians, and famous athletes. Some of these stars included LeBron James, Orlando Bloom, Tony Stewart, Pamela Anderson, Mike, The Situation, Sorrentino, and Gary Sheffield. Some of the cars brought in to customize included Lamborghinis, Rolls Royces, Bentleys, Range Rovers, among others. However, the show didn't take off as the writers had hoped. It fizzled out into obscurity. Years later in 2016, a sequel television series featuring unique auto sports, the business that was featured in the original, premiered on Discovery's Velocity, now Motor Trend Channel. It featured everything from the same host to the same plot, customizing vehicles for celebrities of all sorts. Sadly though, it suffered the same fate as its predecessor lasting only three years. It did not get the attention that was originally anticipated. So how did things get this bad? Did the same problems with the first show bleed over into the second? Was it just the wrong time? There are a few contributing factors to it all. Let's get into it. What the hell bumper. happened here? It looked like they scratched it up putting the, the new bumper on. Somebody forgot to take their watch off and install the bumper and like wiggling their wrist so it scratched the whole thing up. You have to look things over before I look at it. Now they're going to set us back. Accusations of abuse from the owner, Will Castro. Many auto shows these days seem to have quite a bit of drama woven into their episodes. Many times, this comes from the shop owners who scream, yell, and even hurl insults as a way to get the vehicles pushed out. Viewers have always reported conflicting views on this element to the shows. Perhaps the shop owner is under quite a bit of stress with having to run a business and do a television show at the same time, resulting in tirades. On the other hand, maybe this is an element of drama that's thrown in a not-so-reality show. For Unique Rides, it seemed to be a mix of both. When watching the show, it was not hard to pick up on Castro's attitude towards his crew members. Oftentimes, he would shout and even threaten to fire people if they didn't do exactly what he said, or if they didn't get the job done on time. It is easy to see how this could be misconstrued as drama. 
However, Castro's shop had a history of almost being broke at one point, until rapper Busta Rhymes came in for work. After that, he almost got more business than he could handle. This added stress pushed him to the edge quite often, causing him to lose his cool more times than not. While that may make for good television, it doesn't make for a good work environment. Of course, Castro knew that heightened emotions were necessary to keep a viewer's interest. But what he didn't know was that the extent he sometimes took it to, took its toll on some of his employees, as well as the production crew that shot the show. Some concerns were even raised by members of the production and camera team that Castro would sometimes threaten to throw them out if something wasn't done. Overall, it was evident that it was being taken to a very unhealthy level. Viewers saw it and didn't take very kindly to it. Basically, getting off the last tire off the Jeep, one lug nut is cross threaded. If I can't get this lug nut off, there's going to be some serious issues. Tire. Accusations of shoddy work. When you have a show that is based around customizing vehicles, you can bet your bottom dollar that one type of viewer you will have is fellow mechanics. Grease monkeys, shop owners, and mechanics eat, sleep, and breathe cars. But along with watching what was happening on the show, these viewers were also doing something else. They were watching with a critical eye as to the quality of work that was being done. In an age where social media and online forums are incredibly popular, it only takes a few negative posts to start the ball rolling towards bad publicity. To make matters worse, these viewers were very critical of the prices that were being charged for many of these improvements. These opinions weren't to say that it wouldn't be expensive to work on some of these vehicles, as they were all luxury or vintage vehicles that required a lot of care. But when the price tags routinely go above $50,000 for an upgrade, when the work wasn't that immaculate to begin with, some eyebrows are bound to be raised. Bruh. The ratings became terrible as the show progressed. As this show was officially considered to be a sequel to the original show, there were bound to be some similarities. But what was unexpected by the viewers was that almost every aspect of the show was the same. Will Castro ran the shop in the exact same style and catered to the exact same type of clientele. But there was another thing that the shows had in common. The rating trend matched as well. When each of the shows first premiered, there was quite a bit of buzz surrounding them. But as each season passed, the viewers started losing interest more and more. With the exception of the different celebrities and vehicles they wanted improved, there was nothing else to keep the interest. When you mix this fact with how the show was being criticized for being overly dramatized and accusations of below-par work, it drove the ratings to an incredibly low level. As of the release of this video, the rating for Unique Rides on IMDb.com is 2.8 out of 10. This review by a user sums up the tone of the other reviews left by other users. Why does this show exist? Will Castro is so lazy, hands off all the work to his crew, and then always does work that the car owners never ask for. He takes classy looking cars, vinyl wraps them without the owner's permission, and has poor designs. This show is a complete waste of time and needs to come off the air. Nearly every other viewer review is the same. High prices are charged for incredibly simple work. Overall, the show's failure seemed to be based on the same issues that the first show had. None of the previous issues had been addressed in the second show, which is a shame because the premise of the show was actually very good. But the execution was poor and lessons were not learned. As of recent, Will Castro still owns and operates Worldwide Autosports and just announced a new book called Unique Hustle. It seems like Will likes to add the word unique to everything. I'm unique, just look at my ride. Doors go up, I believe I can fly. It is unfortunate that he and his team hasn't spent much time on a website, as it has very little information and you probably can't get your car worked on there unless you're a celebrity. 
Thank you so much for joining us. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and let us know which show you'd like us to investigate. Also, for more amazing content, be sure to check out some of our previous videos. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon. We'll see you next time.